Free thinkers, never forget this. You will never be criticized by those who are doing more than you, but you will always, always be criticized by those who are doing less. Never forget that. Welcome back to Grow Rich, Grow Happy, everyone. That place where we follow those breadcrumbs to wealth. Guys, I'm upset. I am upset. <sighs> Why can't we as human beings just leave some stuff alone? Leave it alone. Just leave things alone. Guys, unless you lived under a rock, you see the documentary that's coming out on October 8th. Just one day. A journalist, pretty known journalist, claims to have uncovered the identity of Satoshi. Yes, the Satoshi. The person who created Bitcoin. My question is, why do we care at this point? Why do we care? That's why I'm making this video, because we in the crypto community, I, I honestly don't think you guys care. I don't. I don't care. And I'm a rabbit hole going person. I love to go down the conspiracy hole and the rabbit holes and find out who did this and was it a lie? Was it all a lie this, all this time? Well, this is one of those I've never really wanted to know. I don't want to know. I like to hold the whole mystery, the ghost of Satoshi Nakamoto. I love it. I love it. I love the fact that no one knows who this person is. It's about damn time. So it begs us to ask the question, why all of a sudden is it a big deal? Why all of a sudden are they trying to out who the creator of Bitcoin is? I tell you why. This is just me with my rabbit hole. This whole deal with the the financial, the whole financial landscape, the whole the race to see who can own all of the world's Bitcoin or as much as possible so that you can be the, di the, the dominant financial sector. U.S. wants to do it. You see them. You see these billionaires out there grabbing it. That's why it's important to hold even a little bit of it. I don't have any yet, though. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting because there's other great altcoins out here. And when I buy Bitcoin, I want to be able to buy Bitcoin. But anyway, that's a that's a story for another video. Right now, we're talking about this. We're talking about this, and in this 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 documentary that's coming up, supposedly the guy knows who it is, and I've done a little research in it. But I'm going to jump over here because it's a short article, but it says a lot. It says a lot, and I always tell you guys in this community when you're reading media. You know, open your eyes and don't just take things in for face value. Go a little bit deeper. You're free thinkers. Think. Think. Because they don't want us to do that. So we're going to jump over here, guys. This is your first time here to Grow Rich, Grow Happy. Do me a favor and smash that like button. Smash it. Smash that like button. It takes you not even a split second to smash that like button and it does wonders for the channel it helps the channel grow and um we would enjoy it um also check out down below i have a lot of uh great deals for you guys 10 percent off a of ledger tangent wallets right now you want to make sure you have a cold storage wallet things are about to really get intense and it's a lot of hackers out there it's a lot of people out there trying to take your money so make sure you have it stored I have both wallets, but I keep my money, honestly, on the tangent, on the tangent. Um, with that said, let's jump over here. Check this out, guys. All right. Look at this. I'm still mad about it. Leave it alone. It says, Bitcoin's creator's identity to be revealed in HBO documentary. Guys, this is terrible. This is actually terrible news. I don't want to know. Let me be honest with you. I don't want to know. I don't want to know who it is. And you guys might feel different. I'm going to let you, give you guys a chance to uh, let me know at the end of the video. Also, I'm going to pin this down below. But there's more at stake here, guys. Read between the lines. Let's do this. 
The makers of the HBO documentary claim to have identified the elusive Satoshi Nakamoto, creator of the crypto, uh, cryptocurrency um, Bitcoin. Now, for all my beginners, there's a lot of beginners on this channel. You know, I I I think you should watch it. I really do because I'm pretty sure it's going to talk about the history of cryptocurrency as well. And this is something you really want to know. I am going to watch it because I'm just what I like to do. I like stories. Okay, it said, directed by Cullen Hoback, the documentary titled Money Electric, the Bitcoin Mystery will reveal the person behind the creation of the digital currency. God. Okay. The HBO documentary set to debut on October 8th on Max will see Hoback traveling around the world to uncover the mysterious person behind the cryptocurrency because we just have to know, right? The synopsis of the documentary reads, In Money Electric, the Bitcoin mystery, intrepid filmmaker Cullen Hoback dives into one of the most enduring and high stakes mysteries in technology and finance, the origins of Bitcoin and the identity of its anonymous creator, Satoshi Nakamoto. More than a decade after Satoshi's disappearance, Bitcoin now threatens, and here it is right here, guys. This is what I told you. When you're reading this kind of stuff, you want to see, you want to be able to highlight what's the real issue here. It says, more than a decade after Satoshi's disappearance, Bitcoin now threatens to disrupt the global financial order, forcing nation, uh, nations to reconsider the very nature of money as Satoshi potentially stands to become the richest person on earth. And they're saying that because there's 1.1 million Bitcoins that belong to Satoshi that no one can get to, that he hasn't claimed. And it hasn't been touched. Now, I'm not saying $1.1 million worth. I'm saying 1.1 million Bitcoins. That's billions, you guys. He would be the totally the richest human being on earth. So, honestly, I think this is what a little about. This is what it's about. This is seriously what it's about at the end of the day. Okay. So, they say here, uh, where are we at? And this guy, this is what I'm saying, this guy, and his name is, uh, the uh, documentary guy, is Cullen Hoback. It says, known for uncovering a clandestine subcultures and movements through digital forensics, Hoback immerses himself with key players, uncovers never-seen-before clues, this is what I want to see, and humorously unravels Bitcoin's chaotic origins and meteoric rise money electric offers a thrilling globe spanning investigation into the intentions of bitcoin's enigmatic inventor as hoback encounters those who could be satoshi seeking to reveal who holds the power and what they might do with it if bitcoin were woven into their daily lives and that's what it's about i think honestly they may fear satoshi stepping up and claiming that all of that crypto honestly that's really might be what it's about and of course it's about ratings as well and of course they want to know who it is this ain't the first time they've hunted for um went on this this wild goose chase for satoshi i read one article where they went back looking for him sometime in 2014 and all kind of people were stepping up saying, I'm Satoshi. No, no, I'm Satoshi. Like, you know, one of the movies. And one guy, who I believe was a criminal, he actually came out so far as to say, he's still saying he's Satoshi. So why can't you claim your Bitcoin? So, yeah. So I think this is what's going on here. And if you look down here, these are some of the other cases that this uh, hotshot... Um, journalist has cracked in the past so i'm going to pin this down below i've since looked into this and this guy right here is who they say this documentary is going to say uh the bitcoin creator is and this guy was named lynn uh Sassaman, and he passed away in 2011 but they're saying that he's the guy 
who created it. And actually, you should look him up, guys. Uh, he has a really good story. It's really interesting. Um, his wife has since come out and said that um, it was not him. He is not. Uh, he was never Satoshi Nakamoto. But people don't think so. And if if what I'm finding out is true, that this documentary is going to come back and say that this was the guy. I think we're in good hands because he's passed away. Um, I really don't want them to uncover who it is. Now, this code, what you're looking at over here, I guess the guy was really important because when he passed away, a lot of the developers, Bitcoin developers, um, as a sort of like a mural or a uh, memorial to him, they put a picture of him in the Bitcoin code right here. So he may not be the guy or he may have been the guy. I just know that a lot of people did love him. So I'm hoping it's not him. Wife, wifey is still saying it was not him. Um, but I think there's a lot at stake here. And I think that's what this is about. I mean, because you, you look at everything that's going on right now in the world, especially with Bitcoin, especially with them trying to snatch up Bitcoin, and all of a sudden, this documentary comes out the blue. Because I this this literally came out of left field, this this particular document uh, documentary. And I'm, I guarantee it's going to be a lot of eyes on this documentary when it's released. Um, so you guys, let me know down below. Is this something you're going to watch? And um, do you think it would do more harm than good if they were able to uncover the mystery of who uh, Satoshi is? And if so, why? I just, I just think this is one they should leave well enough alone. Everyone, I, it's kind of like WrestleMania, and I'm going to leave it off with this. It's like wrestling. When I was growing up, I, me and my buddies, we loved wrestling, WWF at the time. Hulk Hogan, um, WrestleMania. We loved it, loved it, loved it. But you know what sucked more than anything? I had people that would constantly tell me, you know it's fake, right? You know it's fake. I wish they'd go on and do a documentary on wrestling so you know it's fake. Part of me, yeah, I know it's fake, okay? I know it's fake. But let me live in my fantasy world. Don't try to steal that from me because when they did, when they did, all these these rumors and all these things came out, and you started seeing the fake in some of them falls that they were taking. Then, it, you know, the fantasy was gone. I was no longer interested in wrestling. That's why, I, even to this day, I don't even like wrestling. It's acting. So that's why I kind of want them to just leave this alone. Leave well enough alone. Or else, tell us truly why you want to know so bad. Why do you want to know so bad? Is it true what that article said? That because the whole fabric of just everything as we know it is threatened? Uh, what is that? Where did it say that at? Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, here it is here. Um, Bitcoin now threatens to disrupt the global financial order, forcing nations to reconsider the very nature of money as Satoshi potentially stands to become the richest person on earth. And my friends, I think that's what it's about. I think that's what it's about. So if anything, that article, this documentary, it should tell you that hold on to your crypto. And if you got Bitcoin, hold on to Bitcoin. Get you some Bitcoin. Get you some Bitcoin, but hold on to your cryptocurrency. Hold on to your Caspers. Hold on to all the your ICP, all these tokens, and some of these cryptos we talk about. It's not meme tokens. You can you can sell them when it's time. But a lot of these tokens you're gonna have to hold on to. You're gonna have to hold on to because there's more to this than meets the eye. I'm telling you guys. No, you tell me down below. I'm out.